discussion with a couple of my friends and myself privately. And as president and vice president, unless you decide to declare yourselves queen and vice count or something like that, yeah. all of the ideas that we have are great, but how do we get Congress to go along with it? And how do you guys plan to get Congress to go along? I think what upsets me is that you are kind of making it sound like a bad idea to declare ourselves queen and vice count. No, listen. I didn't so, say it was a bad idea. Okay, okay. I mean, I, I, you know, we're not taking any <laughs> options off the table before we get to the negotiation. No, here, here's the thing. Congress has so abdicated their responsibility over the past several decades, creating all of these different federal agencies. It seems like every couple of years they create a new alphabet soup agency, give them nearly unlimited regulatory authority, right? And what happens is that has centralized, usually for ill, more and more power into the executive branch. Now, the silver lining there is that when Joe comes into office, without even having to declare herself royalty, She's able to just start undoing all that stuff. She's able to undo bad executive orders. She's able to undo bad regulations. She's able to deschedule all of the substances that the FDA has scheduled. She's able to do all of that because it's at the executive level that that regulatory authority is held. Now, there are things that need to be done at the legislative level to make it permanent or some things that just can't be changed at the federal level, like, like at the executive level, like spending and things like that. Obviously, she can veto any new bills, but there are some things that obviously have to be handled at the legislative level. But there are a lot of things that can be done at the executive level, powerful things. And when those things are done and the American people see the immediate and profound benefits of having their power and their money and their freedom back, and of having that much less control over their lives, we're gonna be able to ride that wave of goodwill all the way to the steps of the Capitol building, to Capitol Hill. We can draw a very clear line in the swamp and we can invite people to join us on this side of the line with those of us who are working to remove the boot from the neck of the people so that they can thrive. Or if they wish, they can remain on this side. With the people who want to keep that boot on their neck for no other reason than to keep their own uh, power and influence in, in, in keep it entrenched, and even no matter how much needless suffering it causes. And uh, we believe we'll be able to get some legislative compromises based on that, and we think that we'll be able to get a lot of them replaced when the people see how many of them don't want to work with us to do that. But there's a lot of stuff that can happen at the executive level uh, before we even have to stick in Congress. But I'm not against declaring myself Viceroy or whatever. I, I'm not against that. Um, any other? Any other? Questions? Comments? I'll, I'll ask a question in the, the manner that often happens inside that building and the legislative office building on the other side. Would you believe that elections do not happen in a vacuum? So if a libertarian were to be elected president, there would most likely be at least a plurality of libertarians sitting in Congress. There would be, I don't know about a plurality, we'd certainly get some. There's no way that we would win the Electoral College and not bring in some, some Congress people as well. But more than likely, if for no other reason than the Senate only has a third of their, of their uh, seats up at a time, even if we won every single one of them, we'd still be, you know, we'd still have a Republican supermajority in the Senate. So yes, we would have some bargaining power there uh, just on the strength of that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it would also, you know, just by nature of how the elections are, if for no other reason that the Senate would still be under control, there's a lot of stuff that we would just be having to work against Congress. Uh, but yeah, no, it wouldn't be just us there. It would be, I, I don't envision a situation in which we were able to get the 35 to 40 percent we would need to win a three-way election for the Electoral College and not at least bring a few, couple, a few dozen uh, congressmen and maybe a handful of senators with us as well, which would be fantastic, but we're still going to be at a, at a great disadvantage at the legislative end. So. But thank you for that clarification, absolutely. Any other questions? Does anyone else want to give me slivers of gold? <laughs> I will not stop. Or any other metal, frankly. I have some aluminum foil. A split, <laughs> wait, some <laughs> aluminum foil, a splinter of tungsten even? No. Uh, <laughs> folks, thanks again for coming. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to join me over here, I'd be happy to do so. Well, actually, What's the best angle here? Are we doing the selfies in front of the state house? The statue of the state house. State house. State yeah, state, state house. We'll do some state house state selfies. House. Uh, I have, just to let you know, i got to pedal my wares now uh, for the for the campaign. Uh, I do have some, um, I have some bumper stickers, uh, and I would be happy to sign those bumper stickers for you for $10 do uh, donation contribution to the campaign. I also have these stickers. I am, in addition to being my in the right, 
in addition to being the candidate yeah. of the Libertarian Party, I am also the head and founder of the Libertarian Party Waffle House Caucus, the fastest growing waffle related caucus in not just the Libertarian Party, but in any political party in this or any country. This is the center of waffle related political power. And I invite you to join. You too today can join the Libertarian Party Waffle House Caucus and receive an official button that I had made before getting here. I had these made and I will sign the back of it, making you an official member of the Libertarian Party Waffle House Caucus for the low, low price of $5. So signed, uh, signed bumper sticker $10 or a signed Waffle House Caucus button $5. 100% of it goes to the campaign. Uh, any amount that you're able to give, we would greatly appreciate it. And uh, for four more of these, Justin, I don't know where he is, Justin. Well, I'll, get, I'll talk to him later. Uh, but uh, I really do appreciate your time. Give yourselves a round of applause. This has been, it is folks like you that are going to spread this message far and wide. And I'm grateful to have you in this fight. Thank you again.